Okay, Graham Murphy, Product Manager at Tech Rentals. We've got the MX2 available for rent. Now, if you're renting this, we assume that you know enough about um, ultrasonic testing. However, there's a couple of things to be aware of. One is that the power connector on this thing. It's a standard connector. So be, make sure you use the power supply with the instrument because if you plug the wrong voltage in, we can damage the instrument. Two, we will have, when you receive the instrument, we will have checked that this connector is in good condition and we will have checked it against one of our probes. We're not supplying probes. You'll be plugging your own probe in. So make sure your, the connector on your probe is in good condition. You connect it up and there's a simple test you need to run to confirm the, uh, that we've got good connection all the way along with, from the phased array probe. With, we're going to check this probe out. We're going to make sure the probe is, all the elements on the probe are working properly. I plug the probe in and I've got it on a, um, a reference piece, just a piece of metal of a known thickness with appropriate cup watt. Okay, we've powered the instrument up. Um, if I click on this file button, what we've got to do is go to the wizard and we'll go to setup and start. Now we need to go to next. Now what should have happened is the probe should have been automatically identified. Now if it hasn't been automatically identified, there's an issue with your probe and you'll need to manually enter it. So just make sure you've got the right, this lines up with the probe. We hit next. Now the uh, element quantity here, um, we've got to, we're going to be looking at one element, so I, I rotate that down to one and we now have to select linear at zero degrees. Okay, we now hit, oh sorry, element quantity, I'll need to set that back down to one. So it's linear at zero degrees and the element quantity has to be one. Next. Um, first element, now that should be the number of elements and it's a 60 element probe, so that's correct. I hit next and now we're going to generate. wait for the instrument. Now, this is the particular element we're looking at. That's the response from that element. Now, if I select that, now I roll down, now we can see element, this is element two. Now we can see element three, four. Now we need to check that all of our elements are working, they're getting basically the same response uh, and we can prove then that all our elements are correct and you're ready for testing and you've got a high level of confidence that your the instrument is working correctly with the probe. Thank you very much.